Namaskar de Kundalini and Collective Panda.
Now, let's take three mantras, the Maha Mantras. the children of the Adi Shakti herself. Today, we will meditate on our right heart and the qualities given by Sri Rama to us. But first, say the Atarpa Chercha, we 
He is our older brother and is the guardian to the mother inside us. So ask him, please open the door to our divine mother and listen with full attention. The Sri Ganesha Tarpa Chercha. Shisham, 
जायते यो नित्यम सयोगी योगी भान वरह नमो रातपतये नमो गणपतये नमः प्रमथपतये नमस्ते अस्तु लंबोदाय एक दंताय विघ्ननाशिने साक्षा श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नम नाउ विद ऑल रिस्पेक्ट पुट यूर अटेंशन इन द राइट हार्ट एंड बी जॉन the sahasrara at the same time in the heart and in the sahasrara let's say the mantra shri sita rama om tvameva sashat shri sita rama sashat श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः विद फुल अटेंशन बिजोन दे सहस्रारा प्लीज पुट योर अटेंशन इनसाइड यू and listen the shri mataji speech about shri rama full attention inside you and beyond the sahasrara intolerance is a sign of a person who is extremely egoistical and has is vain this vanity shri rama was so much loved by the people where he ruled in that state and he had the most beautiful wife of uh, the most venerated father janaka and who was the beloved son of his father but he was such an humble man such an humble man that in all his character you see the beauty like he was going by a little boat when he went for his exile and the one who was taking him was an ordinary a uh, boatman and the boatman was feeling very much uh, upset that he's sitting before the king of ayodhya and he doesn't have proper clothes so shri rama who was himself 
was wearing nothing but uh, valkalas are the clothes uh, which are worn by the village people uh, or, which, or the worn by the people who live in the primitive areas only uh, kind of uh, leaves that they have he had to wear that because his mother the stepmother asked for that kind of a boon from the father and then Sri Rama just told him, why are you worried? I'm wearing this, I'm no more a king. I'm sitting before you like this, you should be quite comforted. And I really don't know how to steer the boat, while you know how to steer the boat. So why should you be worried? Like that he kept the, even the people who we would call as uh, low in society, at a very high pedestal, which shows that he respected uh, human beings. He himself is called as Maryada Purushottama, means he was the one who had to knew how far to go with someone, Maryada, how to talk to someone, how to approach someone. While we find uh, people who misbehave, uh, even with their husbands, with their wives, with their children, with everyone, uh, and also outside they are about to jump on others. That's absolutely against Rama, it's like Ravana. Even Ravana was not like this. He was also of not that nature, because he had certain dharmas within him. He was a realized soul, but he had become a Rakshasa because he uh, became arrogant. But even his arrogance cannot be masked with many modern people and modern girls and men that I hear and see that it is surprising they have really surpassed Ravana. Ravana only had ten heads, but sometimes I feel that the modern men might have, or the women especially, might have 108 heads. <laughs> the <clears throat> arrogance, the amount of expression of hatred is so ridiculous and makes a person look so useless. But I see such people very common and in, in Sahaja Yoga also they crawl somehow. Actually such people are absolutely despised by God Almighty. You go further with his life, see, he went and uh, into the village where a very old woman who was belonging to the primitive class of Bheels had very few teeth and brought, she brought some, uh, some fruits, little fruits we call as pear. And she brought and gave it to him, that's Sri Ram, you see, I have got these for you. I don't have anything else. And these, I have tested all of them. Actually, in India, if you put in the mouth, it is Uttishta. Nobody will touch it. But she says, I have tested all of them by piercing my teeth into it, and I have seen that they, none of them are sour. Sri Rama didn't like sour fruits, she knew. So none of them are sour, and you can have them. I mean, in a way, if it is done to somebody in the West, they will hit you hard. <laughs> Immediately, Sri Rama rushed forward and took the uh, baits from her hand, kissed her hands, said, all right, all right, I'm going to have them. With such enthusiasm, he ate them. So Lakshmana was a little angry at that lady. Was this going on? So. Sita ji said, oh, do you like them very much? She said, yes, but I'm not going to give you anything. She said, no, I'm your half-body, you have to give me. So he gave some to Sita ji. So Sita ji ate, oh, what a thing, it's like nectar of heaven I'm eating. So Lakshmana felt very jealous. <laughs> he said, sister-in-law, can I not have a little of it? He said, no. I can't give you. You ask your brother. I'm not going to give you, I have a very little share, why don't you ask your brother? So he goes to his brother, 
He said, can I have some more? So Sri Rama smiled and gave him that bear, which was eaten or touched or was pierced by the teeth of a primitive woman, who is actually an outcast according to the Brahmanic laws of India. The sweetness of Sri Rama, the way he used to make people feel comfortable. Like, I would say, an example of an oyster who gets a little stone into the body of the shell, takes out a kind of a shiny uh, liquid and covers it with that shiny liquid and makes it into a pearl to be comfortable. Now, he didn't want his own comfort, Rama a little bit different, that he wanted to make everyone into a diamond or a pearl so that the other person would shine and would look nice. And that's how he felt comforted. His qualities, if you have to imbibe, first of all, we have to understand the innate situation of Sri Rama. Sri Rama is placed on the right hand side of your heart. Right hand side, right heart, he is placed there. Now, in a human being, there is no right heart. If you tell somebody there's right heart, they say, what, there are two hearts or three hearts? <laughs> in our, in our Sahaja Yoga, we have three hearts. <laughs> one is the left, another is the right, and one is the center. Now, the right heart is a very important thing. The right heart looks after the whole lungs, both the lungs, all the throat, the trachea, the nose, the inner part. The outer side is looked after, we can say the features are given by Sri Krishna, but the inner part of it is all done by Sri Rama. They are the same, but one acts as in the inner part, the another as the outer part. It gives you the ears, from the inner part, Sri Rama does, he gives you the eyes in the inner part of the eyes. Now, it's so important to have the inner side all right and the outer side. It's an example of Sri Rama. He never cared for the outer side or the outward looks of a person. Because he came before Sri Krishna, he tried to build up the inner side of a human being. So we can say, though he is on the right heart, he acts through your Hamsa chakra and partly through your Vishuddhi chakra in the inner side of it. Because Sri Krishna, in the inner side of it is Sri Ram, is Sri Vishnu. So when somebody is, uh, say, not good-looking according to the Western standard. According to me, the Western standards are rather funny, <coughs> because Western standards don't look like, neither like Krishna or Sri Rama. The person like Sri Rama was a very healthy, tall uh, person, with his hands up to the knees. Ajahnubhav, he's the one who has Ajahnubhav. And he was plump, both of them were plump. They had to be plump people because they were, though uh, they were born of the Agni, he was born of the Agni, but the water is the main element of Sri Vishnu. So they were all plump people, 
They were not thin like sticks, as today's modern ideas are, to be thin like sticks and like TB patients. But it doesn't mean all plump people are good. We always logically think that plump people are... If Mother says so, then plump people are good. It's not the point. The inner side of it, I'm saying. The inner side of it is just the opposite. Inner side of it is absolutely beautiful and absolutely full of love, affection and warmth. A person who doesn't have these things is a sign of a person who is not a surgeon, first of all. Let's keep our attention inside. A state of meditation. Let's ask Sri Nirvishara to keep the state of thoughtless awareness. Om. Tuhame Vasashat Shri Nirvishara Sashat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Deve Namo Namaha Going beyond the Sahasrara, let's say with full respect, give us the Nirbhikalpa state when we recognize you and surrender to you, to the divinity inside us. Let's say the mantra, Shri Nirvikalpa. Om Tuame Vasashat Shri Nirvikalpa Sashat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Deve Namo Namaha Keeping the attention in the Sahasrara and being surrendered to the qualities that Sri Rama gave to us today with the sense of responsibility, the joy to accomplish the responsibilities, the full and full attention in the Sahasrara and beyond the Sahasrara. Stay in meditation, going beyond to receive the gift that Sri Mataji is giving us. Full attention in the Sahasrara, please. Where is your attention?
Now absorb his humility, his benevolence, the love and compassion, the security, the balance, the peace, the sweetness, the discipline, the self-control. the perfect father. All the qualities that are given by Sri Rama to us. Mother, you are Sri Rama within us. the attention in the Sahara and beyond. Absorb the qualities of Sri Rama inside us. Put the attention inside. Going beyond the Sahasrara. Rise the Kundalini, 
Purum Pandan and do the Namaskar. This is a devotional song written by Sant Tulsidas. The description of Lord Rama. Oh, uh-huh. 